Here we are at Moritz Grossman with Reinhard Kern, um, and he's going to introduce us to three beautiful and uh, very impressive novelties. Could you um, tell us a little bit about what you have to show here this year? Of course, Nola. Uh, our first model I'd like to present is the Benu Anniversary Lost in Space. It's a game of proportions of space. We have a huge case of 44.5 millimeters in diameters and only a dial size of 27, 28 millimeters. It has a moon landscape on, on top. It's, it's, it is in, formed in like a dome. On top is a small uh, minute and hour hand in white enamel uh, grand feu and a small second in black enamel grand feu. Limited edition to 26 pieces, remembering the birth year of Moritz Grossman in 1826. And it's a 10 year anniversary. Tell us a little bit about why it is a 10 year anniversary. A 10 year anniversary it is because the company Grossman Uhren GmbH exists since 10 years. Moritz Grossman itself is a very old name. He was a one of the eminent watchmakers in Glashütte. Christine Hutter, she is herself a trained watchmaker and um, a marketing expert. Because her philosophy and the philosophy of Morris Grossman was uh, very, very close together. And so she founded in 2008 Moritz Grossman Uhren GmbH. And uh, that's the reason why we are celebrating 10 years. And, and it's been a remarkable 10 years already. Oh, yes. Yeah, so tell us about, you have two more novelties, and maybe first start with the Atum collection. Yeah, the Atum back page is uh, one of our novelties. It's just right here on the back of me. It uh, is, the sense of it was, we have uh, very beautiful movements. Everybody says that the finish of our movements is exceptional, but you never will see it because always it's hidden by the wrist. Even there is a glass case back on the watch. So we decided to bring the signature parts of the movement to the front side on the face of the watch. And that doesn't, that, so the basic uh, caliber was 100.1, but at the end when you develop the new construction, it turned out to be a complete new movement. And so now you can see the complete parts of the movement um, working together through the glass, uh, through the front side of the watch. And it is not a skeleton, but it is brought completely the back side to the front. So, and you have one more novelty to walk us through. Please tell us the details. It's uh, our uh, Atom Hamatic. It is uh, as well a remembrance to old techniques in the 19th century. Um, it's a hammer automatic, that means there is a small hammer going back and forth. It's not a rotor running around, it's an automatic self-finding movement, but a hammer which only needs a short distance and some efficient transmissions to turn wheels uh, so efficiently that they can then uh, turn the mainspring barrel so strong that it really winds up the watch. It uh, is a prototype in the moment, but it will be uh, finished by end of the year. And it's uh, amazing to see. It's almost like a 19th century grandfather clock on your wrist. It's really fabulous. Um, well, thank you so much for your time and explaining your impressive novelties. We uh, look forward to seeing what's to come in the future. Yeah. We uh, thank you very much for you too. Thank you.